Hi guys, so I think my lighting's okay. It feels really dark in here, but I think it's showing up okay on camera. If not, I'm obviously gonna have to like brighten it up or something and editing, but it should be fine. So I'm just gonna be doing a quick tutorial. I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna turn out or what I'm doing yet. All I know is I wanna use my new color tattoo leather in chocolate suede, which I just picked up at Target on sale. So we'll see what I make out of that. I'm gonna start with my NYX Angel Veil Primer. That's probably way too much. I could technically turn my like filming lights on, but the light's just a better color when I don't use the like artificial light. So hopefully this works out. Also, I'm sorry if I'm really quiet. I kind of have a bit of a headache. So I'm talking kind of quiet or funny, that's why. Anyway, next I'm gonna move on to my e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. I've been really loving this foundation, but if you have dry skin, um, probably don't. Though if you have dry skin, I'm guessing you probably don't have acne prone skin. So this probably wouldn't interest you anyway. But sometimes my skin likes to do both, so what do I know? I was using my Real Techniques buffing brush as usual. I love the smell of this foundation. I think it's because it has like, um, I think witch hazel and camphor and aloe and tea tree and stuff in it. But it smells really nice. Really, really soft. It's not like a harsh scent. If so, if you don't like scented stuff, I don't think it would bug you. And I really love the like coverage and finish on this foundation. Super, super nice buy for like six dollars, three dollars. I can't actually remember. I don't really feel like I need to cover my under eye circles or zits or anything. They don't need to be super like pigmented. So I'm just gonna move on to powder. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. powder brush and my Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder as usual. Still working through this guy. And I'm just going to set my whole face. I guess this isn't really a tutorial, so I'm really like a chatty get ready with me thing. I don't know. Tell me what kind of makeup videos you prefer. Like, do you prefer when I just do my makeup and don't talk through it? Or is it more interesting when I like talk? I don't know. I'm in a weird mood because of my headaches, so. Blech. Also, if you have not entered my um, contest on my blog, you should definitely go and enter. It's for the Avino's Fresh Essentials line. It's like, um, like a scrub cleanser and a daytime SPF moisturizer and also a nighttime moisturizer. And they are really nice, and that contest is open to Canadians until um, March 14th, I think I said it too. So you just have to go to my blog, I'll link it down below. And um, yeah, you can enter that there. The other thing to use to do my brows, I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light. So I'm just going in with the gel portion first on my EXO Beauty eyebrow brush. And then, of course, the powder side to set that in. And I'm not going for super, super crazy brows today. I don't know if that's obvious or if they look the same as always. I see a huge difference in my brows, or a huge difference. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if that's just me. Tell me if you think that I do my brows a bunch of different ways or if I always look the same. That's as good as those are getting today. I'm all set with my Maybelline Brow Drama in the soft brown. I don't know if you can tell on camera since I don't really get too close while I'm doing my brows, but 
I kind of messed up the wand on this. If you can see. Um, yeah. I wanted to cut the ball end off, so I kind of just mangled it. Because, like an idiot, I decided to use scissors. And on a metal-like brush, that's not going to cut. So, yeah. I have to get, like, wire cutters or something if I want to fix it. Ironically, I feel like the mangled wand is a lot easier to use. Alright, I'm going to use my Real Techniques contour brush and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I'm just going to contour a little. And I use so little of this bronzer, I swear to god, it's going to last me forever. Alright, I'm going to turn some lights on because I think it's ridiculous dark in here. Alright, so there's that. I won't know how different this is really going to look for you until I get to editing, but for me, I can see colors on my face, so that's, you know, a nice change. I think I'll do eyes before I do blush. So I'm going to use the Color Tattoo Leather in Chocolate Suede, as I said. I'm just going to use my finger to apply this one. I'm going to apply it to the whole eyelid, even though it's quite dark. When I swatched it on my hand, it sheared out quite easily, so. I'm just gonna use a brush for the edges. I'm just gonna use this small fluffy brush off the Vice, th or out of the Vice 3 palette. Just to pull in the edge of that really quick. And I will put a transition shade into the crease. This is just, I wanna make sure it's nice and blended. It's actually a really pretty base color. It can also be super, super dark and smoky if you add another layer, just from my knowledge of uh, the color tattoos. Two coats of them generally get you a really nice opaque version of the color. Now I think I'm going to use my Naked 3 palette for the rest of the look. I think I'm going to use Trick on the outer or inner corner of, or like the inner half of the lid just to see how that layers over this color. I'm going to use the fluffy end of the Naked 3 brush. And with this color, you really want to make sure you pat it on. Don't swipe because it's super, super glittery. That was really nice over the color tattoo. I'm just going to put that on the inner corner as well, where it's going to be a lot more sheer and glittery without the brown base. So next, I'm going in um, to Limit, which is the lighter of the matte shades in the Naked 3 palette, with my big fluffy tweezer and brush, and I'm going to blend that into the crease. And then on a small fluffy blender brush, the Elf Contour brush, I'm going to take some black heart and put it just in the outer, like, V area. Alright, so the outer V just became the outer third there, but I kind of like it, so I'm going to do it the other side too. One weird thing about this color is that it tends to come off as sort of a matte black. And don't worry, I will clean up under my eyes, but I know the matte. I know that black has gone crazy. So to clean that up, just to start, I used my EXO Beauty Paddle Foundation Brush, which still has a little bit of concealer on it from last time I used it. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit more Limit on my fluffy brush to blend out that edge again, because it really needs softening now. And I'm not blending in the crease, I'm blending just above the crease. Alright, so that looks a lot more tame, and now I'm just going to pat a little bit of factory in between those two colors just to sort of blend them a bit. I'm going to use the other side of the Naked 3 brush. I'm going to use the fluffy side just to blend that. And one more time with the fluffy brush. No more product, just to make sure that edge is clean. Now for blush, I'm going to go into my Lorac Pro2Go palette and I'm going to use 
a mixture of the coral and the matte pink just because I think the pink is a little too pink for me but the coral is quite shimmery so I'm just going to pat into both of those and tap off the excess And those blushes are super pigmented, so do be careful with them. Now I think I will skip the eyeliner and just move on to mascara. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Lash Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to switch to my Buxom Waterproof Mascara for my bottom lashes, just because that's kind of how I'm using it up. For some reason it doesn't seem to flake as badly on my bottom lashes. Ah! Okay, the last like five times I've done my makeup I've got mascara on my nose. It's getting ridiculous. And then for lipstick I'm just going to use my Revlon, ugh, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in Black Cherry. This is not actually a favorite. It's kind of a dupe from MAC Hang Up but a lot patchier. But this one's a lot better for wearing sheer, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I just blotted off a little bit of that with some paper just because that's what I have laying around. But you could obviously use um, a tissue like a normal person. <laughs> and then I missed it on my Mist and Fix. I thought I was filming, but I'm not. So I just used some of my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And yeah, that is pretty much the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed it or found some inspiration in it maybe. And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!